my Android final project. Uh, what I end up doing is a joint project, my internet computing project. So this is a browser over here with it. Uh, the important part is the stuff in this data. It's a video game tracker database thing. So for my Android app, I made an editor for it. So it has all the standard uh, database functions, you know, create, add, edit, delete. I make a game called FFFGGG, whatever. Uh, fill out all these options. Uh, and I can add to the same database that you'll see in both places. So I can click Curate, it says success. If I were to go over here and refresh, you can see now, uh, you know, this, this game I added is now there. Uh, so I can go to edit. You can see the same list that's over here, over here, and I can edit that same game I just added. You know, put a, put a Z on the end and it's good. And it would edit and it would update in both places. Uh, and so the other features of the app so it has that standard stuff you know so if i if i'm so if i'm sick of that you know you can see the update here with the z on the end uh you can also delete delete this stuff and so if i were to go back and read all about up that list again it'd be gone uh and the other feature of the app would be stats so it has some extra statistics that don't fit in the ui that's over here because you know it's mobile friendly and really cramped uh you know the stats themselves aren't that big a deal but it's there uh you know some stats to scroll through and the only other feature of the app, so if I were to turn off the internet of my uh, device right now, uh, and then I were to go to, and then if I were to go to edit, uh, it would say offline cache data, so it actually caches this data that it last had. So it doesn't see that uh, delete because you know it hadn't, I hadn't uh, refreshed the list last, but it sees the previous updates that I made during the session. You know, so if I were to go online again, it would then update. And so that's pretty much all the features of Maps. So thank you for watching.